Conventional needle and syringe, the normal needle and syringe. So what you do is just go to a doctor, they give you a vial of insulin, you draw, and then you inject yourself the insulin. Today I'm going to concentrate on the insulin cream, so I have two of them here. The reason why I'm actually demonstrating on the pen is because this is the future of uh, administration of insulin. First of all, you see, it just comes like a pen. And no one can notice actually that you are carrying insulin around and you're diabetic. It's very convenient and you can actually put it on your pocket like this and walk with it. Then we first of all go to the parts. So we have the cup, this one. So it's used to protect the insulin inside. And then we have the label. So this label usually tells you the type of insulin that you're using and then we have this knob here it's used to like adjust the amount of insulin that you're taking so with each click each click is one unit so i'll just demonstrate one two three four five you can see it's really suitable for someone maybe who's blind so that they can just come with each like count one two three four, five, they'll know the amount of like insulin they're supposed to inject themselves. Then we have this button here. This is what you press so that you can actually inject yourself the insulin. So when I open, I have this um, space here. So this is a conventional um, flex pen for no mix. So it contains um, a mixture of insulin. This is how it actually looks when you're using this pen. So you see it's cloudy and this is clear. So this is just the demo and this is now the actual insulin that is pre-filled here. So you can see it has like different graduations. So they'll tell you the amount of insulin that is actually available for use. Fast forward. So it usually comes with the, this needle. We have different types of needles. You have Novofine, Novotwist, so this is Novofine. So it's sealed for sterility. Um, you tear off the seal, and once you tear off the seal, you can actually see that there's a needle inside. What you do, you put the needle there until it's tight, and then you remove. Remove this. And then also remove this. So you can see you have the needle and the insulin ready for use. The first step is actually to prime it, which means it's just to make sure that the insulin is actually flowing. So on this adjusting knob, just dial two units. So one, two, and then hold it in an upright position. And then using this knob, you'll press it. until it goes to the zero mark, you realize that there's a bubble on top. So this actually shows you that your insulin is, sorry, your insulin pen is working well and the insulin is flowing. Then the next one, you have to like get the number of insulin units that you're supposed to inject yourself. So for example, you have to inject yourself like five units. So dial one, two, three, four, five. And in my earlier video, I'd say that there are different areas where you can inject yourself. So I'll just like use here. So what you do, you hold it like this, and then you inject yourself, and then you press um, until all the dose is done. And then you hold there for like six seconds. So you just count one, two, three, four, five. Six. This is just to enable like all the insulin to flow well. Then after that, you remove the needle. And then, you remember we had 
left this. So this is how you pick your needle up to avoid like it being injected. So you do this, 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 and that. Then you put the cup. Then after that, you remove it slowly. Yeah, and then this you can dispose it off in your sharps container. So you can just improvise a bottle and then you place it in and then you put your cup back. So that's just how you use the insulin pen. And then something to actually a reminder, this insulin pen usually comes like color coded in order to identify the type of insulin you're actually on. So we have different types of colors depending on the different types of insulin. Like this one, the Novo Mix, Novo Mix 30. You can see this part is blue in color, the label is blue in color and it says 30% insulin aspart, 70% insulin aspart crystallized with protamin. So it's actually a mixture of insulin. And then you see this part is also color blue. So blue, blue. So this is just to help in identification. So maybe you can get an orange one. This part will be orange. The label will be orange. So it will be telling you the type of insulin that you're actually supposed to inject yourself. Then fast forward, I'll also tell you how to take care of this insulin pen. So how do you take care of it? Avoid dropping it on the ground. And then store it uh, between store it at room temperature and at times you can actually store it in a fridge not the freezer but the fridge compartment and then once you drop it make sure you just do this you rub like in your hands and then this slowly like 10 times before administration so as um so before injecting yourself the insulin there are things that you're supposed to actually observe since maybe you have stored this in a fridge, it's advisable not to inject yourself cold insulin. I'd advise that before you inject yourself, please take it out like maybe an hour before. Take it out so that it comes to room temperature. Then the second one, while injecting, make sure you use a, a fresh needle. So if today I've used this needle, tomorrow I'll use this needle, this, like another needle in order to avoid like pain pain when you're injecting then before you inject also make sure the area is clean and dry you can use soap and water to just wipe the place or an alcoholic swab and make sure it dries up fast before you inject and then lastly um pre in the previous video i talked about rotating the side so this is actually what i meant if today you inject yourself here then the next day you just do one finger and then you inject yourself there so thank you so much for watching this make sure you comment like subscribe and make sure you stay tuned for my next video if you have any questions leave them in the comment section let's interact thank you